Yo, what's going on, guys? Jason Trio here with BitTrio.com. Today is Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. Time is flying by, man. August 20th. God damn. Still don't know how to change my title here. I got to figure out how to change this shit. How? How? How do we do that shit? I don't know. Check this out though, man. I just noticed this. Uh, so this uh, Explorer shit, whatever, this Peak Monsters, you can see what you sold, you know, all the shit you did in Splinterlands. Um, so I sold a couple of my shit right here, right here. Look, 349 I sold. 19 Steam I got. But check this out, dude. For my level one, I got 3,600 deck. So, I don't know what the hell is going on, dude. I guess when you're up in this market, you could buy with Steam, Tron, SBD, or deck. So, hopefully if they buy with Tron, I don't get fucking Tron, dude. Because I certainly don't want fucking Tron. Let's be fucking real here. Let's be fucking real for a moment, bro. I don't want no fucking trying. But SBD, Steam Deck, I'll take that. So that's kind of cool. I guess this, I got some of this right here, I guess. Oh, no. Is it going to give me Tron? Come on, man. Don't give me no Tron. Bro. Don't give me no Tron, man. I am not feeling that. So hopefully it doesn't. But look, dude, look at this shit. I got 5,700 deck. So I got to shop. It's time to shop for some Orbeez, man. Time to get two of these bitches. Bang! 5K! Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that shit, bro. Should I have gotten a potion? Eh, who knows? Maybe. But I'm hooked on these orbs. And we got music and shit. Electricals. Even though, look, these orbs don't be treating me right, man. These orbs, they're not treating me right these days. But I'm still going for it. I'm hooked on the orbs. All right, see what we get here. Anything, maybe? No. Just a bunch of doo-doo. All right, whatever, man. So, uh, last time I finished with 80 cards. Got 10 days to work up here. But I finally did, though. I made it to champion rank. It was good. All right, a single rule... We don't like a single rule. We don't like single rules, man. We like no rules, really. But, uh, and Earth, of course, man. Splinterlands be trolling me, you know. No Earth on an Earth quest. But for my little dudes, I think we could run it like this. A bunch of little dudes? But 29, though, that's pretty high. 29 is high. probably gonna see is uh oh so neutral does neutral ever go inactive no only on uh if they do the thing taking sides neutral goes i then i then yeah this ain't bad though it's a good team so, so my fucking internet dude my internet's been going out went out again today had to reboot my router had to call comcast and uh, it's just some bull crap, man. I don't want to have to go through that change in my internet, dude. Such a pain in the ass. If I have to get Verizon out here, I probably should, though, man. I probably should go Fios. Just looking at the speeds. All 
what do we got going on here? Are we winning this? Doesn't look like it. Still a chance though with that stun. Oh, he missed! All right, still a chance. Yeah, we got this, baby. All right, let's do this. Let's go, Zaku. Damn, we just spent 5k deck, and we're just gaining more deck, man. We got to get this Earth Quest, though. Maybe we'll get that done today. Maybe I'll get some Skyweavers, though. But Skyweaver, man, I got to look in the queue and see. So somebody's in the random queue. Constructed is really my shit, dude. I love Constructed. I like to be able to make my own deck, but... uh. Not everybody has the cards, you know, it's closed beta, so there's not that many people. Also, not everyone has all the cards unlocked, so they can't really make a constructed deck. All right, we could go Earth here. It's only common dudes. Damn, but look, dude, I don't even know if I can do this. Do we have a strong tank? Not really, Rexy. I don't know about you, Rexy. Be getting smashed. But it looks cool. Rexy looks cool. And for a sneak target, yeah, is this really good? Uh, I don't think so. Is this team good? Not really. I want Spirit of the Forest. Yeah, I guess I don't have anything else. I don't have anyone else to put in the back. If we're going to face a double sneak. Um, tough, man. I'm just going to run it like this, dude. Mushroom Sears got the most health. What's he going to have? Seven health. So maybe he can take a couple hits. So, no sneak, but he does have magic reflex. Which blows. Look at Rexy, though. Don't sleep on Rexy, dude. This is going to be a collector card right here, man. Oh, and the poison, though, for nothing. Just for extra value. Yeah, Rexy's going to be a collector, man, for sure. It's going to be uh, the alpha, and it might... The gold alpha, you know, might be the shit. But I don't know. I like the alpha. Just the plain alpha. Doesn't have to be gold. Even though, you know, I know the gold matters. It does. Damn, one hit away from trampling on these dudes. But Rexy's just a beast, man. Rexy's beasting out here. And he's dropping more poison on him. All right, one more win with Earth. And yeah, yesterday was a quick stream, dude. I, I just dropped like two minutes, just opened my, my reward pack and bounced. And it was first thing in the morning too. Just fucking wake and bait on oxygen. Fucking no coffee, no nothing. Just straight woke up with the grumbles and turned on my fucking computer and was like, yo, make a fucking stream bro that's how you gotta do it in life man sometimes you know you just gotta get your shit going i don't know what i'm doing man i don't know what i'm doing i'm just trying to do shit you know what i'm saying that's all i don't know what it is i'm doing i'm just doing but i'm not totally fucking retarded you know all over the place and shit not totally fucked up i got a little bit of direction and I'm just going with it, man. And that's it. That's the fucking secret, dude. So many people are just afraid to just even, just to do that. So afraid just to do that, man. Can't even do that, man. Can't even, you know. I'm amazed, dude. I'm fucking amazed. One of the big things actually makes me think of what's going on right now is this whole fucking uh, Harry Marco Polis thing. 
Now he's the dude that called Enron and said they were a fucking scam. He came out on Friday and he said that uh, GE is a scam. They're doing like 40 billion, I think it was 39 billion dollars worth of financial fraud. Which just means they're saying that they got a lot of shit when they don't got shit. They ain't got nothing. They're fucking insolvent. They're fucking bankrupt. They're going bankrupt. Damn, so we're gonna lose our tank, man. The tree! Alright, trouble! Trouble is here! All this extra armor, man. Damn, and that was huge too because our sneak was gonna sneak on that fat ass. Look at those hips, bro. Look at those hips! Damn! Should have had her from the fucking backside. Shot from the back and she was just turning her neck and shit, looking. Looking at you like, yeah, you like that snake ass. I know you like that snake ass. But yeah, Harry Marco Polo's man, yo, dude. It's such a fucking huge story day. We're talking about it on Friday. Then I'm looking yesterday. There ain't a fucking peep about it. Today, I haven't really looked, but I'm sure there ain't fucking shit about it. No one's fucking talking about it, you know? The next time you'll hear about this shit is when GE fucking files bankruptcy and all these motherfuckers with their 401ks and their pensions and everything lose all their shit and fucking GE goes to zero. That's the fucked up part, you know? People don't take action in the moment. It's such a weird thing. I'm having, you know, it doesn't make sense to me because I'm, tr I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, man. It, people just don't give a fuck? I mean, is that, that could be a big thing. People just don't give a fuck. You know, there was a thing, a Gary V, a video where he was talking about, dude, no one gives a fuck about you. You know, don't, don't try not to be insecure because no one fucking cares about you. And you know, that is the truth. Like, try not to be so insecure. I know it's easier said than done. Just like, oh yeah, you know, fuck it, fuck it, right? It's so easy to say that. I get it, man. I get it. I have anxiety, social anxiety. I struggle with all this dumbass fucking shit too, man. It's a lot easier to... Oh, see, you know what? I put wooden in fan when it was fucking no healing like a dumbass. You fucking stupid. And I put the, tr the, the earth in. Was that shit no healing? If that shit was no healing, I'm fucking stupid as fuck. All right, what do we got? Eight here? Yeah, don't give a fuck. You know, that's kind of the thing, man. But it's it's not easy, obviously. I I recognize that. I ain't stupid. Man, I'd hate to run this chick as my three drop, but I, I hate to run this motherfucker too, but you know what? I will run this guy and just run it up. Like what? What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do with it versus this team? So yeah, no one gives a fuck, dude. You know, try to overcome your social anxiety or any insecurities that you have that's preventing you from doing things in life because the harsh reality, the bottom line is, man, nobody really gives a fuck. It's in your head. It's in my head. You know, and it's hard to get out of your own head. I, I totally get it because I can't get out of my own fucking head. You know, I get nervous and all this shit. I can't get out of my own head, man. But you just had to try to, man. Look, plays tricks on you. That's what your fucking mind does, man. Your mind fucking plays tricks on you, dude. So you gotta try to get out of your head. And it was a good decision to play this dude over uh, the Pixie. Well, he's got reflex here. Ooh, the poison now. Poison big timing. Poison big timing. No heals and poison. About to drop this dude. Get him. Ooh, stun. Nice stun. Ain't doing shit though. All right, so every we're gonna everyone's gonna lose. We're gonna lose a few. Our tank, his tank. Oh, oh, the blast, dude. The blast was fucking great. This is going to be really close here. Oh, my God. Damn. Fucking dude with the blast. Fucking mine was definitely playing tricks on me. I thought we had to. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a struggle, man. And that's why, you know, it's not 
you walk into the gym, you run a mile on the treadmill. You walk into the gym, you hit the weights one session, you know, whatever. Then you're fucking buff. Then you look fucking good. And that's not how fucking life works. You got to go in the gym and fucking do it five days a week or whatever the fuck. You got to do it over time. It's the same thing with your mental health and your courage and your strength and all that shit, man. You can't just do it one day and think you're going to be fucking a powerful ass dude. You got to work on it, man. You got to fucking actually work on it. You got to put yourself in these hard situations. You got to hold yourself accountable. You got to make these daily videos where you're talking shit. You got to do these things. You want to get good at talking? Start fucking talking. That's it. And it's a lot easier to say, obviously, man. But that's fucking it, bro. That's the science. And here's the test. You know, I didn't even talk about my brother. He went through a hard shit, uh bunch of bullshit happened with him maybe i'll get into that one day but whatever his shit's fucked up and i told him to start doing shit like this man i told him cold shower a day 100 push-ups a day make a video a day because he streams but is he listening no he ain't listening i haven't checked on his shit but do i think he's listening no he ain't fucking listening man you know how hard this shit is and it's not even hard. It's hard, but it's not hard. You know, it's that balance. It's that fucking thin line shit. But he ain't fucking listening, man. Come on now. We know this. We know this, bruh. You ain't listening, man. I know you ain't listening, bruh. Actually, I did check his shit. I checked his shit to see if he made a, a YouTube video for uh, yesterday or something. I forget. And he didn't. He made It was like two days ago. So he can't even do that. He can't even make a video a day. So, you know, whatever. You got you to gotta want it, man. You got to fucking want it, dude. And it's going to seem minuscule. It's going to seem like, uh, what's the point? You you could have those battles. You could also be insecure. Like, oh, I feel I'm scared. You know, shit like that. You could have those battles. And I'm sure there's other battles in between. Tons of shit could go wrong. Double sneak. Fuck. I was thinking that. I was just thinking about putting thorns in the back. Slight thought crossed my mind. And we'll see what happens here. Not looking good though for us right off the bat. And we lose our healer, but healed out. So that's not bad. Can't heal anyway. Stun is actually pretty good here. Oh, yeah. We ain't winning this shit. So that's what I'm doing, what I do, man. Health Family Bitcoin. You know, the most important things in life and not just physical health. You know, my health is not just getting fucking diesel and looking good. You know, even though I'm not fucking diesel, man, but I, you know, I'm all right. I'm a little uh, fatter, I guess, than I would like to be. My weight, my ideal weight, I, don't, I forget what I weigh. I don't weigh myself. I think I'm like 190. My ideal weight is probably like 170, man. I don't know, 180. I don't know. Ain't no fucking 190. I don't even know. Do I weigh 190? I don't know. Maybe I weigh 180. I think I weigh 190. Last time I weighed myself, but I don't give a fuck. I look in the mirror, dude. I don't give a fuck what the fuck scale says, man. I look in the mirror and shit. Just flex. Flex my shit. That's how I judge, man. But it's also about uh, mental health. You know, that's a, that's a bigger thing for me, really, because I struggle with that shit. Social anxiety, public speaking, uh, just getting out of my head. You know, I get, I get into these situations. I start to get nervous. I start to think. I don't know why. I can't fucking turn it off. So far, at least, I haven't been able to turn it off. So I don't know what the dealio is. But it sucks. Alright, so reverse speed though is a problem. Maybe we just put cockatrice up there just to get murked. I don't know. Seems pretty shitty. <clears throat> you just gotta work on yourself though. You know, the point is, man, if you're not fucking working on it, if you're not out there doing your exercises, your mental exercises, your physical exercises, your Whatever, if you're not doing something, it's not gonna fix itself, man. So, if you're fat, <laughs> right, out of shape, you're not just gonna become fucking sexy and built. 
by not doing anything. You got to go to a fucking gym. That's known, right? That's fucking known. Everyone agrees that makes fucking sense. Yeah, no shit, bro. No shit. But the whole mental aspect, get being successful, creating a business or get, getting some money, having strong um, a physical presence or a uh, just being able to command a room, you know, you go into a meeting space, an office space, and you're a leader. You're talking to everybody. People are looking at you and listening to you. That type of stuff. Yeah, I ain't going to win this either. Go Dragon. It's such a beast. To be able to do that doesn't just happen. You know, you can't just think about it and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go in here and rock this shit, man. You have to practice. Unless you're not in your head and you're good. You know, some people don't have to deal with these fucking things, man. Look at these. These fucking skulls. Some people don't have to deal with these fucking skulls, man. But some people do. And you don't just give up to these those pussy-ass fucking skulls, man. You battle them shits. And it ain't fucking easy, man. So fucking start doing it. Because it ain't easy. It ain't just going to happen, man. You got to start doing it. And it seems like it's nothing. It seems like it's small. It's not going to help. And it also seems like, how the fuck is it going to help? Oh, I'm doing all this shit, but how the fuck is that really going to help? Is it really going to work? It's not going to work. I should just quit. I should just take the easy way out. No! Fuck that! Don't take the easy way out, man. Trust me. I fucking contemplate not making a video a lot of days. You know, I don't know how many fucking days it is. It's not every day, but today was a day, you know? It's a little late today. I didn't feel like fucking making a video. I didn't feel like fucking talking... But you just gotta overcome, man. You gotta overcome your fears. You gotta overcome stuff. Whatever the fuck, you know? Self-control, man. Like I say, the dude said, Bill, whatever the fuck. I don't know his name. Some old head with white hair. Uh, he might even be a fucking shill, dude. You know? Healed out. Don't forget. He might even be a fucking shill that he sucks. But you can even if someone's a fucking shill, dude, or a fucking douche. You can still take things from people that suck. You know, you can still learn from douches. So don't just be like, oh, he's a douche. Therefore, everything he says sucks. No, man. Some douches offer real advice. You got to be, that's the thing. You got to be able to fucking distinguish the good from the bad. That's you. That's your job. You can't just listen to someone and say, oh, Bitcoin's good. Oh, well, hot damn, that shit's fucking good. Let me fucking invest my life savings in that shit. No, you have to take it and fucking go and learn and do your own fucking research, man. It's very similar to this Harry Marco, Marco Polo's thing, man. Where I, I see this fucking shit. And this might be obvious to some people, but really, what are you doing about it? I see this motherfucker come on TV, man. This fucking dude. I don't know what I'm running here. He comes on TV. And he's like, yo. These motherfuckers are scamming ass motherfuckers. And then some people are like, yeah, but come on, bro. You're getting paid from here. You're getting paid from there. This, that, and the other thing. And then they're questioning them. And then you got GE spokesman. Uh, there's a lady, a board member. She came on. She's like, man, fuck this dude. GE's the shit, you know, we ain't like that, we ain't this, we ain't that. Now, it's on you to make a decision. You got one dude saying, yo, all your 401k and your pension's about to go to zero. Damn. And then you got the company, the other side, saying, nah, man, fuck this dude. We are straight, we are legit. This dude's a fucking bitch-ass motherfucker talking shit, trying to short the market. Now, it's up to you. This is life. Now you have to make a fucking decision. And this go ties into the other shit that I be talking about where you think you could just sit on the sidelines and make no decision. But guess what, dummy? That is a decision. Doing nothing is a decision. It has results, it has consequences. It has a, a effect, right? You do nothing, well, something's gonna happen with that. It's not just gonna be nothing, unfortunately, for you. But we do think that in our brain. I'll wait. I'll see. It's a weird thing, man. <clears throat> so you have to be able to take things in life, information coming from all angles, 
and make a decision based on this information. You gotta dig deeper, you gotta search, you gotta listen, you gotta that. But with this Harry Marco Polis thing, maybe I am being a little irresponsible and I'm just taking this dude for his word. Look, I'm getting fucked up, dude. Well, as soon as I start fucking talking, I'm getting fucked up. So maybe I am fucking up taking this dude uh, for his word, but I, I think one of my strengths is just being able to talk to somebody, look at somebody, and I can understand. I could, I'm not easily fooled by someone. I, I, I can, I believe that this fucking guy's telling the truth, man. And it's not just because of his demeanor and the way he says it, even though that plays a large part. It's what he's saying. He's saying, I have all the fucking facts. I laid it out in my fucking paper. <clears throat> if you don't agree, well, what the fuck are you talking about? Bring me your facts. Where's your facts? I have all these facts. Here's the fucking numbers, dude. You know, there's no disputing pretty much what he's saying. Now, for me to be responsible, I should go look at his report and fucking do it. But I don't, I'm not doing that. I just fucking believe the dude. Like, look, he... This motherfucker could get locked the fuck up for doing some shit like this, you know? Can't just come out and rock some shit and reduce a price. No, GE's going to fucking zero, bro. That's what's fucking happening. <laughs> GE's going to fucking zero. This should be fucking front news for everyone to fucking hear about so that they can get the fuck out their pensions, their 401ks, whatever the fuck they have invested, just get the fuck out, their life insurance, whatever the fuck it is, man. All right, can we get a fucking win, breath? Possibly? Maybe? We're thinking about it. We want to. I mean, my teams have been pretty fucking shitty. But we're gonna try with this fucking shitty squad. But no one gives a fuck, man. You know, that's the thing. No one gives a fuck. People are just gonna lose their money. The people that aren't paying attention, the people that are gonna wait it out, the people that don't believe, that can't make a decision, you know, they're, they're the ones that are gonna lose their money in their 401ks and their pensions. You know, it's a shame. But this is life, man. And, and there's wolves in their sheep, man. So, you know, I tell people around me, but nobody gives a fuck. Oh, yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll look at it. Back to my fucking zombie world. Back to me not doing anything in life. Back to me just pissing and moaning about how bad I have it, but never trying to change it. You know, one of the things I think with people is, too, man, that they don't believe that they can change it. Some people just don't think that they could do it. That's insecurity, you know, that that is a debilitating factor. It's a, it's a thing that stops people. If you don't have belief, man, you're, you're not gonna do it. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. I, I don't know who the fuck said that either, but some dude did. Smart ass motherfucker said that shit. And that's some real shit, dude. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably fucking right, dude. And there you go. So fucking start thinking you can, man. Because guess what? You probably can. You probably can become a millionaire, dude. You probably can pay off your mortgage. You probably can get that job. You probably can get that girl. There's these things, man. You probably can fucking do it, man. And it's all a snowball, man. Once you start believing and you start acting, you start achieving, you start doing that shit. And then, man, you, you become unstoppable, man. And here it is, man. Here's your fucking example. Starting from nothing, building it the fuck up. Health family Bitcoin, man. Get your health right, both physical, mental. Get your fucking family right, dude. Love, man. You have to love. You have to be vulnerable. Put yourself out there. Love people. Be loved. You know, that that's really the, the best thing, man. All that shit, that matters the most. Yo, fuck money. That's number three, but but it doesn't come close to, to health and family. And then Bitcoin, of course. I mean, it's the fucking best money that mankind has ever seen. You know, what is money? You can start asking yourself that question, researching it. And it, it's a belief system is really what money is. And, and uh, if 
whoever believes the most people believe it's something's valuable, then it's fucking valuable, dude. I'm sure there's rarer metals than gold, but people think gold's the most valuable. But what about other fucking metals or rare? What about fucking things, you know, I don't know. I seen some shit on Pawn Stars where some dude had like a meteorite or some shit. You know, that's fucking rare as fuck, I would guess. Why don't we use that as fucking currency? For me, it's Bitcoin. And I think more people are going to come around the Bitcoin. And it fucking blows my mind, dude. It fucking... I love it, man. You know, that's what prompted me to start this. I made a fucking website. I made this channel and I'm on here. You know, I'm playing video games because I like video games. They're fun. And plus, no one wants to hear somebody fucking talking about fucking Bitcoin and and life and all this stupid ass shit. That's extremely important. But at times, you know, it's fucking boring, man. People want an escape. People watch these videos for an escape. They don't want to be told to do the right thing all the time. They want to be fucking the dude that they know they shouldn't be fucking. And, uh, you know, because their parents don't like them. So they want to go out and fuck this dude and, and be with this guy. or You know, rebellious type shit. That's what people do, man. So you got to put a little entertainment in there, play some games and shit. But the ultimate goal, the ultimate message is help family Bitcoin. And we'll see, dude. You know, I'm putting myself out there. I'm making myself vulnerable. We'll fucking see, man. You know? Oh, this fucking dude was on here talking shit. Yeah, he lasted for like eight months. Where is he now? Right? What the fuck's he doing now? And my channel might morph as well because, you know, I have to start doing some productive things, man. I can't be sitting on here playing video games, unfortunately. Unless I'm getting fucking paid. So my shit could adjust it could change i could keep video games on here um i do really feel like i should start doing a case study i want to start kicking off one of my businesses it's a uh clothing fucking line you know that's probably super hard to do but i want to do uh this amazon has uh t-shirts amazon merch so if anybody's looking to do some easy shit like that you could definitely do it and just sell some t-shirts you know kick it off like that I've already had uh, Chinese people, you know, I've talked to Chinese businesses through Alibaba and shit like that. They sent me products, overpriced products, but you get to design them yourself. And uh, they send it to you, you look at it, you know, you email them, you talk to them. There is a huge language barrier there though. They don't know what the fuck you're saying most of the time, so it's a little bit of confusion. I would like to work in in the US, but there's not many manufacturing in the US, unfortunately, it's way cheaper and it's way more prevalent in China. Hopefully that changes too. But right now, yeah, I'm just gonna hop on Amazon, man. I'm gonna start fucking selling shirts, man. Seems like the easiest way, the best way. I just had to come up with a few designs and I wanna start working on that. Because just like I'm saying, you know, you don't just think you're successful and it happens. You gotta actually fucking do it. So if I'm sitting on here playing fucking video games, then what the fuck, you know? My my path to success is dictated by my subscriptions and my views and shit like that. You know, fuck that. I'm not here for that. I'm here for me. I'm here for the real world. I'm here as an example with a bunch of, you know, shit talking thrown in and a bunch of fucking uh, whatever the fuck thrown in, some games and shit. And I'll still game, man. I'll probably be gaming until I'm fucking old as fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck. That's what I like to do. I like to play games. So that's what I'll be fucking doing, man. You know? I'll probably be gaming. Like I say, I used to say, dude, I'll be playing Madden when I'm fucking 80. But I gave up on Madden. I'm just too competitive for it, unfortunately, man. I get into it and I fucking... I can't stop, dude. I get salty as hell when I lose. And I get into it, I study it, I'm always in practice mode, I'm always playing, I'm always labbing blitzes and offenses and blocking schemes and motion and like, uh, there's, dude, it's so deep and uh, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot and I, and I can't put that type of time and effort into something that I just didn't feel was gonna generate me profits 
but I could do it into a business, something like that. You know, it's a balance, man, between generating profits and enjoying it. So you have to find something that you really like to do that can also make you money. And you got to be realistic too, man. And when I ran the numbers on Madden, I was fooled initially because I went off the total sales of the game and I said, dude, I can make some money if I get 1% of these total sales by my tips. But then I later realized that I looked up the numbers on people searching for tips and blitzes and things like that. And it was way less. So 1% of that wouldn't have given me anything. So that's why I mixed that idea. And you just learn, man. It's just a, it's just a growing thing. I replaced it with something else. And now I have this on top, but I'm still doing football, man. I still like football. Not nearly as much as I did when I was a fucking idiot. When I, when I hung on my sports teams, you know, I hung on my fucking sports teams. Now I really don't give a fuck when people talk to me about sports teams. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I don't even keep the fuck up to be honest, man. I've fallen off. I don't keep up with this year's NFL draft, man. I haven't kept up with that shit. <laughs> I just don't, man. I got other shit going on, man. Health, family, Bitcoin, you know, sports and entertainment. That shit went to the back of the fucking line, man. And, uh, you know, these talks and everything, you know, this is like a, uh, a psychologist or whatever the fuck, you know, you go and you lay on the couch. I don't know what it's called. Psychologist, I think. Where you go and you get evaluated and they start talking about your shit. You know, that's what this is kind of like, man. I get to talk to myself, iron out all the details that I got in my head. And try to figure shit out and make a plan, dude. And let me look at my paper again, because I gotta look at this fucking thing. It fell off my wall. I gotta pin this shit to my wall. But my wife didn't want me putting a fucking hole in the wall with just a little pin, a pinhole. But she didn't want that shit. So I got a sticky with my fucking dailies and my 1.5 million goal to retire. Uh, so, but it keeps falling off the fucking wall, so. 1.5 million to retire. That is my goal. And I'm going to make it, dude. I'm going to fucking hit that shit. And who knows how long it's going to take. Life gives you twists and turns, man. But it's going to happen because I'm not going to stop. I might change direction. I might pivot. I might do something else. But I'm not going to stop. I'm here to fucking win. I'm here to get comfortable. I'm here to relax. I'm here to provide. And that's it. So that's my shit. That's my being. So why would I stop? You know, the only thing I could think, like, horrific, I hate to even think about this, but I have been thinking about it. If my wife or my kids got killed or died, you know, that would be horrible. That fucks me up thinking about that, dude. But with the shooting and the Walmart and all these fucked up people in the world, you know, it's a possibility, man. It's fucked up to think about it, but... That might be the only thing that could fuck me up and break me and, and cause me to say, man, fuck this and just not give a fuck anymore. Because I'm vulnerable, you know? I've never been vulnerable before in my life, but now that I have a family, I'm fucking vulnerable, man. You know, you can get at me, you know? Like, before, all I had to do was watch my back. All I had to do was protect myself. You can't fucking get at me. There's nothing you could do or say to fuck me up, dude. You know, fucking rock solid. But now, you know, I got married, got fucking kids. I'm fucking vulnerable, man. You know, you could attack my kids. You could attack my wife. They can't defend themselves like I can, you know? So there's that, man. There's there's that. But with that vulnerability comes a lot of strength, comes a lot of love. A lot of good shit comes with that vulnerability. A lot of good shit comes with that. It helps you, man. Balance. You can't just be a hard ass your whole life and think that you can fuck everybody up. So, it's tough, man. It's tough. Life, life is tough, but we're getting through it, man, day by day. And uh, you just got to do something day by day. Get in the gym, the mental gym, and work on yourself. And a lot of greatness comes from that adversity. You know, I look at Wim Hof and his wife committed suicide. He had little kids and shit. That's a hard shit to do. And now he's this fucking great dude that should be changing, could be changing the world. You know, fucking uh, 
Wim Hof should be on the front page of everything as well, dude. The, the shit that his fucking breathing, mental focus, and, and ice water can heal the diseases, the inflammations, the... I mean, the fact that he has taught us a way to secrete adrenaline in huge high numbers. Like, we can stimulate and trigger the fight or flight instinct at will. And it's fucking amazing, dude. But no one gives a fuck. You know, no one gives a fuck. Back to that. No one gives a fuck, dude. It's mind boggling. But we are humans and we're easily. Our attention is easily diverted. We easily lose focus on what's important and we. We easily are attracted to fucking shiny objects, man. So. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I'm here another day. And uh, we're just going to work it out, dude. So that's going to be it for this video, man. Thank you all for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Later.